fun stuff. The single layer of seat belt material and the three layers go through better than the other stuff. Okay. I said I was going to let it down over there. Did I do it? No. Beautiful. Okay. These are the tools we use that you will need if you're going to put grommets in your trampoline or anything you want to put grommets in. This is the hole cutter. This is a this is the cutting end down here. It's smaller and it's sharp. This is and you beat on with a big old hammer. And you have to use a pad underneath this in order not to dull your. Or you could use a board underneath there. Yeah. A lot of people use boards. And this is the anvil. Anvil. When you get the hole cut in the material. You put your little grommet in there. You put the material over here. On top of it. On top of Through it. Through the hole. <laughs> in the hole. And then you put this uh, it's spiked, a spur, well, it's spur, it's a spur grommet, grommet on top of that. And you put this down in all of them and pound them with a big hammer. Yeah, for, for sails and uh, trampolines, you should use the spur grommets because they help hold the cloth. They, the spurs actually pierce the cloth a little bit better and hold it. Is that it? Uh, no, they come in various sizes for each size of grommet. And that's all the grommets installed. It went considerably faster on the four sides as opposed to the four corners because it was a lot thinner. Okay, that's the cleat for the jib downhaul. That's the anchor roller. Okay, this is the cam cleat that's on the center beam here. When you have crew and they're handling the jib, then uh, they can cleat off the jib sheet on this cam cleat here. Run it through the fair lead. And when you're single-handing, we'll also have a cam cleat on the aft beam. And this is the aft beam. This is a cam cleat that for when you're single-handing to tie off the jib sheet or cleat off the jib sheet. And this little cleat here is for the lines that control the traveler going back and forth for the main sheet, that is. This cleat here is the one that the main sheet will go to that will go down to the traveler and back and everything. This one here is to hold up the, put a line around the back of the uh, motor there to hold it up so that it's not hitting any waves or anything or not causing any additional drag. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that on the these, all these cleats here, there'll be some on the other side of the beam here, which I don't have sitting there right at the moment, but uh, they'll also handle the traveler when it's the, you want the, the sail shape over there on that side and the jib sheet. Well, it's been a long time coming, but we're starting to paint. This is the first coats, or first coat, I should say, of primer that we're putting on the deck panels first. And we'll put in another coat of primer, doing some sanding in between coats, and then doing two layers of top coat, too, with sanding in between. 
So, anyhow, it's a happy day. And this is the other side of it. Look at it from the other direction. Big deal, right? It's primer. Nobody cares. Have a good day. Okay, we're, uh, this is the first coat of the top coat that we're putting on uh, the, the deck here. This is just the underside. So, this paint, you have to understand that when you're doing it, you get it all sanded, you paint it, the primer you put a coat on, you wait 16 hours, the next day you sand it, wipe it all down, and then put another coat of primer on, and then the next day you wipe it all, or sand it, wipe it all down, and uh, you put another coat of primer on. And you continue that through two coats of primer and two coats of top coat. And since how we've got two sides to this, so you gotta figure it's five or six, one, two, three, four, four days uh, for each side. And basically that ties up your shop because you're not making any dust in the shop during the period that you're doing this. It's a slow process. We're, uh, we are spraying this because uh, we started out with the primer and started to roll and tip it. But it just wasn't looking good, so after the first coat, we sanded it all down and then started spraying the, the primer. And like I said, the first coat of the top coat, so we'll get there eventually. We wanted to set it out here for about an hour in the sun and everything to help the solvents still disappear, even though it's been over 16 hours depending on your temperatures and humidity. And our humidity has been running like 98% here the last few days. This will let it harden up a little bit before we sand it and put on the next or the second coat on the bottoms here. Cool.